Hello student, hope you all are well. In this video, we are going to discuss about operating system. So here's the content, introduction of operating system, need of operating system, function of operating system, uses of operating system, types of operating system. Let's first see this image. Here, as you can see at this center, is the hardware. Hardware part of the computer. Over that we have the system software and at the topmost is the application software. So actually the computer is organized in form of layer. The innermost layer is the hardware. The hardware devices which cannot function without our instructions. Those instructions are given using the application software, but the system software is needed in between so that it can act as an interface between hardware device and the application software. What is operating system? Operating system is the lifeline of the computer because it cannot function without the operating system. Operating system is the always first software that is loaded into the computer memory when it is switched off. Operating system is an essential component of a computer system. It is a system software that manage computer hardware and software resources and provides common services for computer programs. Next is need of operating system. In earlier days, user have to design the application according to the internal structure of the hardware. Operating system was needed to enable the user to design the application without concerning the detail of the computer internal structure. It is an interface between the computer and user. Here is the function of operating system. The main function of operating system are process management, memory management, file management, security, command interpretation, input output or device management, job management. So first one is process management. Process management take care of the creation and deletion of process scheduling of various system resources and providing mechanism for synchronization and communication among process. Next is memory management. Memory management module take care of the allocation and reallocation of memory space to the various programs. Next is file management. File management computer user allocate of data and program to store on secondary memory devices. The file management involves keeping tracks of all different files and maintaining integrity of data stored in the files. Next is security. The security module protect the resources of an information of a computer system against distraction and unauthorized access. Next is command interpretation. The commands interpretation take care of interpreting of user commands and directing system resources to handle the request. Next is input output 
or device management. This involves receiving the request for input output interrupts and communicate back to the requesting process. Here is the sub input output device mouse, keyboard, monitor, printer, pen drive, etc. Next is job management. Using operating system job control language or JCL that means job control language. The user can communicate with the operating system for telling it what to do. Next is uses of operating system. Easy interaction between user and the computer. Starting computer operation automatically after power on. Loading and scheduling user program, controlling input output, controlling program execution, managing users of main memory, providing security to the user program. Next is types of operating system. There are several types of operating system. First one is single user operating system, multiple user operating system, real time operating system, batch operation operating system. So here first one is single user operating system. Single user operating system is the type of operating system that is developed and in intended for use on a computer or similar machine that will only have single user at any given time. Here's the example. MS-DOS, Windows 95, Windows 97, 98, Windows 2000. The most common types of operating system used on a home computer as well as own computer in office and other work environment. Next is multiple user operating system. Multiple user operating system has been designed for more than one user that assess the computer at the same and different time. Here is the example Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 10. There are several different types of multiple user. First one single processor, multiple processor, network system, multitasking system. The real time operating system. Real-time operating systems are used for direct control over electromechanical equipment such as industrial robots, factory process, airplanes, cars. They monitor external events and react instantly. Here's Batch operating system. Batch operating system are used for running batch operations such as calculating and printing customers' bills. They often run a single task for our deals at a time, like bank process, millions of checks. Each month, these are processed together in a long run, usually overnight. So, here is the chapter cover all the topics of operating system. Here is the assignment, history of window operating system. Thank you.